Hi guys, welcome back to Bunny Brick Designs. So, it's been a rather interesting month for me. I didn't make as much as I wanted to with the bead boxes this month. Um, to be honest, I struggled a little bit um, with doing things because I have some other things going on. And more recently, um, doing the rabbit rescue that I do... We've been out chasing bunnies for the last several days because some people dumped some up by the park near my house. And we've been, anyways, we've been going out every night trying to catch them. We managed to catch one. Um, and we, um, there's two more out there. So we're going to continue to go out. Um, probably not every night because some of the people in the neighborhood, um, you know, where the rabbits were going in, we knocked on doors and asked if it was okay to, um, to go in their yard to look for the bunnies. And they were like, no, we like the bunnies. And I'm like, they're domestic. They're not wild. So anyway, it's, it's been an interesting month. Um, I did get some really nice pieces, um, done with the boxes but to be honest, the curated bead box, once I started doing the couple bracelets that I did, um, I had some ideas that I wanted to do, but I just didn't have enough of the beads. So in here, and I think I left them, I left the three in here somewhere. There was those purple beads that I had used in one of the videos to make a bracelet. And I thought with this lemon yellow and the pink, that would look really good as a necklace where I would do some purple beads, some pink, the yellow, the pink, some more purple, um, and maybe do a zigzag or something, you know, maybe a memory wire or something like that. But I just didn't have enough of the pink and the yellow um, after making the one bracelet, I probably had enough of the yellow to do what I wanted, just not enough of the pink. And so I did have quite a bit of beads left over from the curated bead box. Cause to be honest, the only two things I made with it was this bracelet that we made together on camera and this bracelet. Now, I mean, this bracelet is, I love this bracelet. It's beautiful. It's, it's very, it's very fancy. I could see, you know, somebody wearing this to prom or, you know, to a, you know, a wedding or something like that, you know, very fancy party, New Year's, you know, something, just something. And I mean, I really love this, this bracelet. It came out fabulous. So we've got those two from the curated bead box. Um, I'm going to set those aside. I had better luck with the bargain bead box. Um, I did save all these beads. I'm thinking about doing a woven um, pair of earrings with that with bead weaving. I've got an idea for a Cellini um, pod with this, maybe. I'm going to try that maybe in the future. Um, and it, you'll notice I did separate out some of the components, like the the um, beads, spacer beads, and the findings, just because I'm gonna I'm gonna put those in my stash. So I had I had that. So from the bargain bead box, I made a cute little necklace with the um with the with that metal charm. I don't even know. It looks like a dog tag to me. And so I made this, and I thought that was cute. That's going to hang kind of nice. That could be something, you know, even for a guy maybe. Um, you know, so we made that. And then, of course, we made the memory wire. This one came out fabulous. I love this bracelet. Um, you know, I know it doesn't look right until you get it perfectly on the wrist where you need it to be and adjust it. But, yeah, that came out really, really well. Um, I like that. It's just fun. It reminds, it, that definitely reminds me of the desert. So we made that. Um, so that came out real nice. And then of course I made, and I'm going to see if I can pull them in here. 
Um, I made some earrings, and I'm going to pull all the earrings out here um, in a minute. I'm going to leave those. Um, so I made a pair of just basic earrings because I like the red with these blue beads that have the red in them. So I thought those were, you know, those are nice together. So those will just go on my, my, um, you know, I call them my standard earrings. They're, I have these earring towers that I display um, when I do craft fairs and things. And they're just earring towers. And I sell earrings. I sell them for $7.50 a pair, two for $12, or three for $15. So anywhere from $5 to $7.50, depending on how many pe people want to buy. Um, I think that goes well with this bracelet. Is this bracelet also? The other thing we did this month, um, and we did it together, was we made the wire wrapped earrings, and I'm I, I absolutely love these. They came out fabulous. They're really fun. Um, it was really simple and easy to do, and that definitely, you know, with the copper reminds me of the desert as well. Um, copper and turquoise. So we made those. And then I know we did this necklace on camera together, this basic simple necklace, which is very, very pretty. Off camera, I made a bracelet to go with it. Um, it doesn't have the blue blue down there, but it does have those blue beads. Um, and I, so I made the bracelet. Along with that, I have made with the components, and I'll bring these up to give you a close-up in a minute, I made two pairs of earrings with the blue and those metal components. One's with the with the charms that have the one hole, and then a pair with the two holes. So as you can see, the two holes um, there, it came out quite nice. Um, really fun, really festive. This one was a little bit different. Instead of having the, the charm in the center, I put the charm at the bottom. And you have the just the blue beads. And so I made those. And then lastly, um, and I don't remember if we did this on camera or not. I'm going to set these aside. I made the necklace with the brown. Um, and this, I like this. This has got mostly blue with that hint of you know, neutral browns. And this, this, this reminds me of like the Southwest, like, you know, Native American turquoise and, and sandstone type. So, um, the other thing we did this month and, um, wasn't part of the box, the bead boxes, but I started playing with those, the, the resin and making these leaves. And, and I'm going to tell you right now, the camera just doesn't do this coloring justice because every time I turn it to like the, to to the light like right there you're just seeing the brown the the gold but I'm seeing like pinks and purples and yellows and and hints of green and it just flashes so nice um you know, so I don't know if you can see that real well. I mean, there's a little bit on camera there. And this one has, you know, some of the same stuff um, in it as well. And so, and I know those earrings aren't quite the exact same, but that's the that's the beauty of natural jewelry. Um, so I made, you know, a little bit of jewelry this month. I got some really nice pieces, some more earrings to add to my earring tree. Um, these will be going on earring cards. So all of the earring, um, if you'll notice, there's the flat on there. So that is stainless steel. They're all stainless steel um, coated, you know, coated with copper. And these are just stainless steel um, so that they're, they're not going to tarnish when people, you know, when people wear them. So you know, that's always good. Um, I really like, I really love this bracelet. So 
Anyways, I'm going to put a picture of the bunny that we did rescue. So this poor little bunny, um, I don't know how long he was out um, in, you know, being caught, like, you know, in the wild. But I literally pulled three ticks off of him this morning. Um, so, you know, hopefully he's tick free now. He's been treated for fleas. He's going in for a vet check on Sunday. Um, and yeah, it's, you know, the life of a rabbit rescuer, <laughs> you know, we, we sun, rain, snow, thunderstorms, we go out, we rescue. So anyways, um, coming up in some videos, I've been toying with the idea of making some more resin things. Um, I want to make some rings and, um, I want to do that. And, you know, I'm thinking we can do some really cute rings using some wire and some, maybe some beads, maybe some um, cabochons, maybe some handmade stones with, with resin, with UV resin. Um, so we're going to be doing that coming up. The other thing that I'm going to be doing is I've been living with my workstation that I redid in my craft room tour 2.0 in, tw you know, the beginning of this year. Um, my workbench is not ideally set up, so I've got a couple of things coming um, coming in and once those things get in and get here and I'm going to be making a couple of things for my work, my workbench, I have to go to Lowe's and get some wood. Um, once that comes in, I'm going to be rearranging my work, my workbench and I'm going to walk you through and actually I may even do a video of me doing the in progress work just so you can kind of see the before, the after, um, the mess that like you can't see that's off camera right now that is um, all of my stuff that I haven't put away. So I've got a lot of um, supplies that I haven't put away yet um, and I've got a lot more coming. Um, so yeah, so we'll be doing that coming up. Um, I'm probably going to be doing some more wire wrapping coming up. Um, yeah. And maybe, maybe even doing, and I thought about it was I did a bracelet a while back. Um, and I don't have it around, but I did a bracelet a while back, um, for Christmas that had jingle bells on it. So I may even do another one of those with you. Um, you know, it's in the it's in the same vein of this, except it has jingle bells on the top, and when you move your wrist, it jingles. So, um, I really love this. I keep like looking at this jewelry, going, I love these colors. I love this. It's so pretty. Um, and actually, it's funny because I like these leaves with this necklace. Um, interestingly enough, um. Anyways, so that was this month. I'm like I said, I'm not thrilled that I still have all of this, but I'm going to save these because every time I kept looking at these big orange beads, I kept thinking pumpkins. I kept thinking pumpkins. So I may have to make little wire wrap pumpkins out of those. Um wouldn't that be fun? And um you know, we've got some random beads here that I don't know what to do with so um ooh, and I got something from the curated or the bargain bee box in there that shouldn't be gotta love it when you mix up your beads um so yeah so anyways um we should be getting another ooh, I'm throwing beads away we should be getting another bead box coming in in the next few days so look look for that as well I'm excited to see what this month holds for my my two bead boxes um you know, if they're doing something fall, I may take the yellow and orange from this and the red from this and make fall jewelry. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you like what, you know, we made this month. I hope it inspires you. Um, you know, if you want to see anything specific or you're more interested in a certain technique, 
um, and want me to do a tutorial on it, you know, leave me a comment in the description um, and I will see what I can do. Anyways, uh, that's all for now. So thanks for watching.